Hi everybody, it's Michael Boland here from uh, Boland Images. I have been thinking for, well, quite a long time now that I do need some sort of um, system to organise my photographs. I have literally thousands taken over the last five or six years and as time goes on the problem just gets worse. So yesterday I bit the bullet and um, I bought Lightroom 3 and hence here we are today making our first tutorial. I, I thought it might be useful for um, people uh, watching or listening um, and also useful for me because I, as I try and explain things to you, it also helps me to understand exactly how Lightroom works. So it, it, it's a two-way street really. I thought we'd start out with a very simple overview of the, the, uh, the Lightroom 3 interface. So on on the uh, the left hand side here. Well, first of all, on each side we have this area here and this area here. These are referred to as panels. Um, what I'd like to point out are these little arrowheads at the top, at the bottom, and at the left, and at the right. Now, if we click on them, they um, they collapse the area. There we are. Uh, which I suppose can be useful because uh, now and again you, you, you may need a, a larger work area to, uh, within which to work. And to open them up, of course, it's just simply a case of clicking on them again. Right, if we work our way in a clockwise uh, way around the board, I'll, I'll just explain things as I understand them. In this panel here at the moment, what we can see are uh, different options that are available to us. Uh, we have uh, published services, which um, now this is amazing because it means that you can you can publish your your uh, your images directly through to your accounts of Flickr or Facebook or um, Smugmug or to your own hard drive. So that's that's going to be very very useful for me in the future. Above that, we have our collections, uh, the different collections. As you can see from all the zeros, I have no collections, uh, simply because uh, we've yet to upload uh, pictures to Lightroom 3. Here we have our folders, now I've, I've made a folder, I, I work from a PC rather than a Mac, so I've made a folder in uh, my pictures and I've just called it 2011. My uh, intention is to work backwards. Uh, 2010, 2009 and so on and so forth. So that's the folders. Uh, here are all the catalogues that I in fact don't have as yet. Uh, and above there we have a, a navigator space which again at this moment of time uh, is empty. Uh, if we move over to the, the top right hand here we have um, our, these are what they call uh, modules. Uh, library, develop, slideshow, print and web, which are all pretty self-explanatory really. Uh, in the, um, the early tutorials that I'll be making there'll be uh, more to do with the library because um, this is where you import your pictures and uh, organize them so this is of massive, uh, massive interest to me. Uh, and then of course the develop is where you would uh, work on pictures and um, slideshow, print and web, well, they're fairly self-explanatory as well, sorry about that. Um, on the right hand side, in this panel here, we have all the options that are available to us. Now, we'll come back to that in, in more detail um, in the next tutorial, because the next tutorial will we'll, um, we'll upload some pictures uh, from a card and we'll um, store them, uh, copy them to a hard drive and also enter them into the Lightroom 3 catalogue. Um, I think at this point what we'll do is we'll import some pictures. Uh, I've got a card uh, already inserted into the PC and as soon as I click on that import button um, Lightroom recognises that the computer has a card or a card reader attached to it and it automatically populates this this central uh, frame here with uh, with all the all the different thumbnails. Um, at the bottom right here, you can see uh, this little slider 
uh, tool here which is kind of useful because you can you can make the pictures uh, the thumbnail pictures bigger or smaller and let's be fair not all of us have got brilliant eyesight I know I certainly haven't so it's nice to be able to uh, alter alter the size to um, you know a, a size that's comfortable for yourself now then um, here we've got check all on check all they start out uh, checked um, which is fine if you want to upload every single picture um, well possibly sometimes you may not want to so in that case you would uncheck uh, the boxes uh, and then uh, possibly you may want to just let's say for argument's sake you just want to um, uh, upload say half a dozen so you uh, press on the control choose half a dozen just choosing half a dozen at random and um, then check any of the, the boxes and um, of course they all become uh, checked then. What you can do as well which is uh, quite useful at the moment the, the, the um, pictures are in uh, organized via capture time uh, obviously those that you took first uh, number one etc you can change that to a check state so that would put all those pictures at the top there um, okay, so if we uncheck, uh, uncheck them all again, and then check them all again. In this particular, uh, on this particular card, I know for a fact that this there it is there, and that's what I'm looking for. I've got one picture that's, don't ask me how that happened, but there's nothing on it, so I'll uncheck that. That's the only picture that I don't want. And as you can see from the numbers, it's now, it's now gone. So 115 to 117. Um, to have a, a, a closer look at any of the pictures, you just you just sorry. I, what I did forget to do is return to capture time, so that takes us back to the the original uh, the original um, format. Right. Let's say we want to have a look at this picture here. We just double click on it and it opens up and then click again and it expands it and you can move it around and you can you can expand it a little more with this tool here just slide it slide back and to return to the grid or return to the normal size first of all just click on it again and then to return to the grid just click on the grid icon the other thing that you can do if we open up another picture is um, use the keyboard to return to the grid by pressing on uh, the G, G for grid I guess. Uh, not all the keyword tools are as obvious as uh, G for the grid but um, anyway that one is. Right so what else have we got? In this corner here uh, we have the number of photographs and the number of space that they're taking up. So as you can see, there's there's a fair old number of photographs on this car. There's 299. There was 300, but we've removed we removed one earlier, um, the uh, the blank or black one. At the top here, there's um, another little uh, pointer or arrow that if you click on, uh, just closes that area down. And you might have noticed here, there's uh, another. Uh, checkbox so that alternatively toggles between checking and unchecking uh, so now we'll see that one's been checked again probably yeah so we'll take that out again I think that concludes our overview of the interface because this section here the right panel um, where where things are saved to I'd like to cover that in the next tutorial um, so just keep an eye out for that. All right. Well, I hope I hope this has been of, of some um, of some use, some help to you, and um, I look forward to meeting you at the next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.